I. So I have my poor old Ender. Um, it's had a good life. I think it's time to do something new. So this Ender, it's it ha it has like six seven thousand hours of printing on it. So it's it's not being rebuilt as an Ender. But after talking with Sibor, I think that's how you pronounce it, they have a kit for a switch wire or a Ender wire. So they agreed to send me this kit. I did pay for it myself, but with a good discount. So. Um, this is going to be my honest build and a small little video review in the end. This will be a multi-series uh, build. Uh, basically, once a week, I'll do whatever I've done that week. I'll put it into a video and I'll give it to you guys. So I'm just going to move this over to my big workbench because this will take a while. And let's see how it goes. So this is a bit of a different angle, but I'll try to switch around a little bit. So that's my, my actual setup right there. Uh, so normally the camera is here. Interesting. Um, I would thought I would just quickly just pull out all of these because they're in layers. I'll just pull them out and just look at them because I haven't really looked at this. So. Okay, um, so from what I can see, I have a extra motor, some fasteners. This is nice. This is this is so nice. So it comes with all the fasteners neatly in the box. I can see magnets, the pulleys, all the bolts, some spacers. Um, BMG kit or extruder kit. Double sided tape, I'm guessing that's for panels. Ooh, wiring, I like that. USB cable. Bearings, I like those. So, electronic wise, this expects you to use your stock board on your ender. I'm uh, my Ender already has an SKR Mini E3 V3 upgrade, so I'll just be reusing that. And I I think my plan is for me to keep it as is. I might switch to a different probe because this ha one has an inductive probe, and I might want to switch that to something like a micro probe or a cartographer beacon uh, down the or a clicky even uh, down the line. It comes with a clipper expansion board and a screen, so that's nice. But yeah, I'll I'm I'm gonna start looking through the manual. I I'll have to pull that up on my computer and just start looking at this, and I'll come back to you as soon as I have something happening. So I have the uh, manual up on my workshop phone. Uh, this is easier than me having to look at that screen. Uh, I might bring my laptop for this. And it wants me to do all the heat sets first, which is a good... That's normally how, how I build printers anyway. So yeah, I guess I'll just have to find all the corresponding parts out of this mess because I have like three... Like... There's a lot of printed parts. So yeah. I'll have to find all the stuff that needs inserts and do all that. I won't bore you with this. This will be me, my energy drink, and some music. So I do have my trusty uh, little heat set insert tool thingy magic that I made. So if you want to see something, see that. Um, 
link here. Okay, so um, I've done all of the heat inserts. They're in a box on the. Uh, there you go. That's that's all the, uh, the heat inserts. So next is some tapping. I need to tap some extrusions on the uh, on the ender, so I have to disassemble it. So I'll do a quick little video of me disassembling it. I think. So I, I uh, tried to do this without disassembling the ender too much, but the next couple of steps, just it's easier. So I just took everything off except the frame and I need to move this thing. And yeah, let, we'll see what happens because I have no idea. So I'm, I'm, I'm just going step by step here. Uh, nothing, nothing huge. I've got the rails. The, uh, the Z rails and the Y rail rails on. And there was some reconfiguring of the frame. And now the first set of panels. Now I I know myself, so I'm going to mess these up. So I just uh, tore off the protection just around the bolts. And, and this one around this part. This is for the uh, thing. This guy. Um, so yeah, it's um it's coming along, and nothing major. The only thing that I've found so far is that the um, on the bottom here, there's um two M five by forties and M two M five by thirty, and the T nuts that came in the kit and these didn't fit right here. These are twenty nine, not thirty. And I look through the kit, they're all just slightly too short. And so I changed to a different set of T-nuts and that solved it. But a little annoying that they're just a tiny bit too short. It's like a like one millimeter too short. So they won't have to actually grab the M5s. But I made it work. Luckily, I do have a lot of extra screws and hardware. So yeah, I should probably put, pull this off. Yeah, I'll do that before I continue. And yeah, I, I have no idea what I'm going to do next. I, I just do this one step at a time. So yeah, it's fun so far. So here's my progress so far. I have the, the bed installed, the front idler, and the motor mount. I did not like this instruction part because it said install the, the motor mount and the motor and then put the belt through but this this tiny little hole here is just hard to get the belt through so um should have just not installed this put the belt through and then install the motor mount then the motor and then the front idler would have been easier but i do like the uh, the belt clips under the uh, the bed um it, they're both great because they won't move, but if they do, um, you're screwed. So you'll have to take all this stuff off. Um, I could not use the original motor 
and the kit doesn't come with an extra motor so i, I just grabbed one of my spare motors for something else i'll definitely put something bigger and better on this but for now it'll be okay but the bed moves i just did the uh, the rails to get them parallel so yeah so far so good okay so here's my progress um screen is in the uh, the front skirts and the sides extensions i think they're called um i'm not happy with my prints so i might reprint it on this printer um just to make it better uh, but I, I realized that i've printed these in the wrong color because that's that's a little bit boring so i'll be reprinting these in in the same blue and yeah so i don't know what's happening next but yay so i got the uh the back thing thingamajig on 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 the other thingamajig uh with the fan and in the ac input that's all okay um and then i did the well i put the uh, the feet on just temporarily because it's easier to move them things around and then these ones they did not show up on the list of of um heat sets but they need heat sets so I, I i did that um and also i know i've made a mistake because in the instructions it tells you to to remove these four and then replace these two ones with blind joints on the inside but it only says to do it on this side but you have to do it on the other side because right here um, this, these two will interfere with the, the, the motor mount. So the T-nuts on the motor mounts, uh, they, they will interfere right there. So I need to pull skirts and back off to get this extrusion out and redo it to a line joint. So, yay, that's going to be fun. All right. So I have the X axes installed. With the motors and all of that stuff the key back is is on and i have ready for wiring here of course down here so next oh yeah and uh that bearing for the key back so next i uh, believe it's the uh attachment point for the belts and i think that'll be the last time that i do today and then probably this video so i'll see you soon okay so that's a little bit too much uh in one day but i've had an assistant behind the camera and we've got it looking like a printer at least so the um, basically all the movement parts are on the belts are there and it's it's a core xy belt flipped so that was easy that was super easy um yeah i i really like the build so far there's a couple of things in the manual there's a they say m3 but it's m5 and they say m5 but it's m3 lengths are a little bit eh. um and also, for some reason, they don't show you which one is front and back that you're working on, but um, you get there in the end. So yeah, I really like this. Um, so this will be this this week's video. I'll do another one next week with my progress. I have no idea how long this is going to take. Um, so yeah, um, next week, tool head, wiring, panels. Hopefully. Yeah, I'll um 